everybody james back here again with you and today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different with my air rifle i'm going to be shooting um, at some so-called trick shots i guess you would say now i'm not a trick shooter by any means but i am i'd say pretty decently accurate with my air rifle um, and it's just because i practice all the time the more you practice the more you get to know your rifle the more you know where it's going to hit the more you know it's going to break trigger so um, I've been getting a lot of different requests on shooting angles, so I'm going to try something different this time. But uh, let me show you my setup down here. We're, we're going to be shooting about 20 yards. There's the gun down there on the bench. And uh, let me show you the target here. So there's a playing card set up. And what I'm going to do is split it with a pellet at 20 yards. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this camera down here. And like I said, I'll, I'm going to try something different. So hopefully you guys like it. And I'm going to set it up and face the card uh, and do uh, slow motion also. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I shot that through my scope cam. Ace of diamonds, split it. That's pretty awesome. That's awesome right there. 20 yards with an air rifle. All right, so since I didn't go over my rig at the beginning of the video, I wanna do that now. And I appreciate you watching, by the way. So, uh, just goes to show that you know you get enough practice in with your air rifle you can do just about anything as much as a firearm within you know given distance or whatever the restriction would be but um, so my rig that I was using to split that card uh, it's just my Crossman Phantom 177 uh, the spring brake barrel with a center point uh, 3 to 9 by 32 uh, mill dot reticle and then I have my scope cam here. I actually have a video on this if you guys are interested in seeing that and then I have my uh, Samsung S4 behind it recording through the scope. So uh, another key thing was I think this is the third maybe fourth video I showed my shooting bags. These are uh, Caldwell shooting bags you can fill yourself buy really inexpensively under $20 and turn around and fill them with whatever you can fill them with it says on the box that you buy them but uh, and another thing um, I was using the premier Crossman premier ultra magnum pellets today and it was because not only is it just a hair windy today um, I got the air rifle out before I started shooting the video just to see which pellet would be shooting the best because that's what I want when I'm shooting this playing card. I mean, that's pretty much splitting hairs, literally. Uh, and these right here were grouping the best for today. Now, that doesn't mean that these are the best for every gun. I'm just saying when I pick it out today, they, they hit pretty good, so I, I tried them. And not only did I just stick with these, I tried a few different ones, too. I tried the Crossman Field Pointed. Uh, premier pointed and I tried the Crossman uh, premier hollow points and like I said the ultra magnums were just shooting a tad better today at 20 yards so that's what I used 
But anyways, I want to keep this video uh, not too long, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you do like the so-called trick shots, I guess is what people call them. I wouldn't really call them that, but that's just me. But if you like that type of style of shooting, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to implement some of those um, shooting scenarios, I guess, in my videos. Um, but anyways, I do appreciate you watching, and like I said, if you like what you see, put the comment below and let me know, and hit the like button. And as always, you know, subscribe if you feel like it, um, if you like these videos or any other video that I put out. You know, if you want to see my videos in your subscription feed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So anyways, I, like I said, I appreciate you watching, I truly do, and I'm going to get off here, so we'll see you later.